In the next section of this lesson, we will be looking at rendered files and also diffs in the GitHub website. Let's talk for just a moment about what I mean when I say a rendered file. So Git and GitHub is really designed to help you manage text-based files, simple text-based files. And CSV files and markdown files, which we've been working with in this lesson, are both examples of that. If you just open them up in a generic text editor or in a code editor, you see that they're just simply lines of text. They might have special things in them, like commas that indicate something. They might have markup language, but basically what you're seeing in both of these cases is raw text. In both of these cases, the raw text is, uh, is formatted in a particular way so that an application that understands that kind of file will be able to render it in a more meaningful way when people look at it. So for comma separated value files, CSV files, they essentially are intended to be rendered as a spreadsheet. So if you're looking at this in a spreadsheet program, it's not gonna show you lines of text separated with items separated by columns. It's gonna show it to you in a spreadsheet form with rows and columns and cells that you can click on. Likewise, in a markdown file, we put in these various things like hash marks and numbers at the beginning of lines, but that formatting is to tell something that knows how to render markdown how it should make that document look for a human. So if you have a single hash mark, that means a level one heading. If you have numbers and dots at the beginning of a line, that means make an ordered list with items that are numbered looking like this. So um, even though we're generally working with documents in this form, the ultimate goal is to make them visible and viewable by people in a more meaningful way in the form of a rendered file. Before we make this push, into the repository online. Um, let's go to the repository and um, so that we can watch what happens. I have, uh, for the URL, I put uh, github.com slash Baskoff S, and that's taken me directly to my part of GitHub. Um, if I click on repositories, I can see here is my project. So right now, my project does not have any of these other files in it. Um, if I compare it with what's down here, I can see that um, I have made two commits since the last time I pushed to the cloud. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and push these up. And now the little up arrows have gone away. If I refresh this page, now I can see that my two documents are here. So first of all, let's take a look at the instructions. If you were paying attention, one of the things you might have noticed is that I said 11111 here. So in Markdown, when you're making a numbered list, it doesn't actually pay any attention to the numbers that you put in there. It will go ahead and number them sequentially anyway. Um, if I go to the spreadsheet, you can see that even though in GitHub desktop, desktop when I look at a spreadsheet, it shows me in sort of the raw text form. But if I'm on the actual GitHub website itself, it does render it the CSV file as a spreadsheet. If I wanna see what it looks like in its raw form with the commas and everything, I can click on this raw button and I can see this is what the raw text actually looks like. At various times uh, in the lessons, I will use the term diff. Diff is basically Git slang for looking at differences between commits. And in the graphical interface, both online and GitHub desktop, they have very nifty ways of showing you the differences between commits. Probably the easiest way to look at the differences is on the GitHub website, um, because it will show you the previous commit and the current commit and set them up side by side. 
If there are lines in which there are no differences, then there'll be this dot, 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 basically indicating that there's some stuff up here that hasn't changed, so we're not gonna pay attention to that. But then it'll generally show the context, a, a line before and after the change, and then it will highlight the changes side by side, indicating that this was um, in the red on the left, this was the uh, condition in the previous commit, and then it was changed. These are the item, the highlighted items are the things that were changed. And then the green is the current state. Uh, if you are using GitHub Desktop, the diffs are shown in a slightly different way. So here's where we click on which document we want to see the diff for. Once again, there's uh, an indication that some lines are being left out. Uh, also, uh, there's the context, but instead of putting them side by side, they're shown in line. The first um, former condition is shown first in red. The current condition is shown second in green. The little minus signs here indicate that these are things that were taken out, and the plus sign indicates that these are things that are added in. Uh, the same plus and minus notation is used here. I should comment that from an accessibility standpoint, uh, GitHub needs to get their act together and not use red and green because of the large number of people with red, green color blindness. Uh, but the default is red and green, I guess red meaning stop and green meaning go or something like that. I can also look at the commit history by clicking on this. And here this shows me the first commits that I made early on, and then here's my two commits that I made today. And if I click, click on this, it shows me uh, both of the documents that I changed as a part of this commit. This uh, sort of layout that we see here is what we call a diff, because it shows us the difference between the previous version and the current version. So you can see a diff in um, GitHub Desktop, although it shows you with basically lines that have been added or removed, the removed ones in red and the added ones in green. It's a little easier to look at the diffs on GitHub itself because the uh, two versions, the last version and the current version are shown side by side, and that makes it a lot easier to see what was changed from before to what it is now.